Awesome. So welcome everyone. I am so excited to be here uh, tonight for the day one of Create Your Reality Vision Board Activation. This is such a special time for us to gather and amplify the magic. Um, have we all made vision boards before? Everyone here has made a vision board before? Yes? Yeah? Okay, good. Um, so what we're going to be doing, oh, we got one person that hasn't. Oh, another person hasn't. Okay, wow. This is something new. Okay, good. This is going to be, um, this will be my first. Wow, I'm actually really surprised. I've been doing vision boards for a really, really long time. I want to say goodness, probably about 18 years. And I just find them to be such magical tools. Okay. And I want to teach you some methods um, about how to really make them work for your life and how to be really intentional. Okay. So we're going to be diving into how to do that um, for this evening. So um, first, let's just get started. Um, I want to know how you're feeling tonight. It is 8 p.m. where I am at. I know it's like 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific. And so it's kind of like that wind down time, right? So I'm kind of curious just, just to connect with you. I want to know if you were some sort of texture, like texture, right? What would that, what would, what feeling would you be right now? Okay. I'm kind of feeling like a little fuzzy. <laughs> so I want to know how are you feeling? And go ahead and put that in the chat. I want to see how you're feeling. How you're feeling? Slime. Oh, velvety. All right. All right. Tell me velour. Ooh, I like that, Jennifer. I feel gritty, minky, velcro, like corduroy. All right. Cool. I like all these adjectives. Bumpy. Okay. Squishy. Beautiful. Smooth and silky. All right. Prickly. <laughs> ah, velvety. Beautiful. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to really think about our feelings. Everything that we're going to be talking about is going to be about energy. Okay. I'm really into the law of attraction. I'm into uh, feeling good. And a lot of times when we're calling in um, stuff for our vision board, we are looking at what that energy is and how do we step into it. Okay. So we're going to be um, looking at some things tonight where we're going to be dreaming big and then we're going to be shaping it so that we're going to um, get really clear about what's that going to look like in your life. Okay. So that we can feel it just like we're talking about those textures. We want to feel it in our life. Okay. We're going to bring that um, energy into the now into reality. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be sharing my screen here. So, so I can do a little intro so I can go over the objectives with you. So just give me one moment. So I know we have a lot of new people. It's really awesome. We had 70 people to sign up for the VIP. I'm so impressed. Super excited to welcome some new members to um, the Creative Soul Society. And you should all be able to see my day one, write your letter to the universe. Yes. Okay. So the letter to the universe um, is what we're going to be focusing on today, um, but we actually have two other writing, um, well, one other writing assignment, and then we're going to actually be doing some art as well, okay? And I wanted to just give you a little bit more information about who I am. My name is Leo Guzman. I'm a board-certified art therapist and a professional artist, and I cannot believe that I've been practicing for 20 years. It's crazy how time goes by so fast, um, but it's been an honor to support uh, many, many women um, in dealing with emotions and transitions in their life and supporting them on their on their life journey. So um, it's been been powerful work and I'm really honored to do what I do. So I'm also a published author and um, I have actually four books, four therapy books and one card deck, Oracle card deck. And I've actually used my vision boards to help bring these to life. Okay. So I put this, um, my intentions into my vision board, okay. Of that. I want to create something. Um, and one of my books, the actual essential art therapy 
exercise book has been translated into six lang languages. So that's really exciting to um, get art therapy into the world and educate people about the power of art and healing. And then uh, about three years ago, um, I created the Creative Soul Society. I'm really passionate about this group. This is all about art for self-care. And I love um, supporting all of you here um, in the Creative Soul Society and learning from you all as well. We have guest presenters and some of you present as well, and we have a lot of fun. So I'm excited to get started tonight. Okay, so for today, we are going to be looking at our personal and our professional goals, okay? I really want you to start looking at every area of your life, not just one, but like really look at like what you want to experience, okay? So we're gonna be doing more of like a, kind of like a brain dump to like get really clear with, well clear, but like kind of letting it all out. And then we're gonna refine it some more so you can feel like what's really important to you. Then we're gonna be writing um, our letter to the universe and I'm gonna walk you through the steps of how to make this intentional. So I use the word universe, but this could be anything from, if you wanna say God, if you wanna say the divine, whatever you feel comfortable with. I just feel like there is a higher power that's guiding us. And I like to use um, the word universe. And then we're gonna be drawing out our aspirations. So this is a tool to, um, you know, turn that abstract idea to something really solid and grounded. And we're going to be picking out our word for the year and then actually creating a symbol um, to help us remember that that's our focus. Okay. Have you guys done that before? I'm curious. I love picking words for the year. You never done that? Zell said, no, I haven't. Okay. My word for the year was ripple effects last year. So I'm kind of curious what's going to come up for this year. All right, so we have some new techniques that you're gonna be learning, or maybe you've done this before, but you know what? This is why we do it again, right? We're refreshing, right? We're getting clear for what we wanna do for the following, following year. All right, so I just wanna let you know about the VIP upgrade. Um, this is really, really awesome. We have all of you on the Zoom here, which um, are you're either a Creative Soul Society member already, or you are a part of the VIP package. So uh, the VIP package, we have two extra days. So the reason I wanted to extend um, the vision board experience is because this is, a, this is like deep work. This is about our life, right? And so I extended it for three days, but I was like, let me have two more days so that we can really start strategizing, making a plan um, so that we can make it happen for the new year. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing in four and five is we're going to start doing some of that sub subconscious blocks that stop us and also making that plan to dive in um, for the new year. And then we also have, um, you get to be a part of our membership. And then I'm also giving my Oracle deck. Okay, so if you want to upgrade, you can still do it now if that's something that interests you, if you want to be around for the extra two days, good stuff. Okay. And I'm going to stop share for a moment because I have some things I still want to share with you, but I have some things that I want to, um, to show you. Oops. Do I still have my Facebook people here? Yes. Okay. Beautiful. Just making sure. Oh, Lindsay already is telling me what her, her word is for the year. All right. <laughs> we'll get that, get to that in a minute. It's going to be compassion. So would you guys all like for me to pull a card from the Oracle deck? Yes? Okay. Then we will pull a card. Let's see what our energy is for tonight. It's going to be a card for the collective. I just like to... Oh, I got the butterfly girl. I love her. I'm obsessed with butterflies. All right. This is the creativity card. Can you guys see that? It says, nourish your creativity today. Give yourself an opportunity to play. It can be 20 minutes of doodling, decorating your home, or picking out clothes to adorn your body. Creativity is a wellspring. The more you tap into it, the more that will flow. All right. That's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to tap into that creativity. 
So when we start doing our brain dump in just a few minutes, um, think about that. Think about the special projects that you want to focus on for this year. Okay, you got to be really intentional. All right. So what do we want to get together? So let's think about the materials that we want to use for tonight. Um, you can use several different things. Just do what feels right for you. There's no right or wrong here. I just want to let you know. Okay, you can't get it wrong. I just want you to be um, use use what you have around you. We are going to be writing our letter to the universe. So you're welcome to use like a lined journal, like a writing journal. You could use that. You could use an art journal, which I have one right here. I've written my letter to the universe before in, in my journal. I've also put my vision board in my journal, in my art journal. Okay. We're not doing the vision board tonight. That's on day three, but just letting you know, put your um, letter to the universe somewhere that you can actually find it again, all right? Because it's so powerful. I was just meeting with a client the other night and we reviewed her vision, I meant her letter to the universe from last year and how many things came from it. And she was just missing one thing. And she's like, you know what? I'm gonna bring that into this for this new year, okay? That's how powerful it is, right? So you're gonna need that. Um, so art journals, some assorted art media. I have some um, some paints next to me of, um, some oil crayons so we can get to the art making part. So the those of you who are in the Creative Soul Society and the VIP, just to let you know, we also have um, this little booklet that has the writing prompts on here too. Okay. So that you can also use this as somewhere to write. And I sent that in an email. Um, so you can always print that out if you want to write in that. All right. So are we all ready to get started? Um, how long do we have to upgrade? If you are willing to upgrade, you're welcome to do it tonight. Um, Thursday's the actual day when we're gonna actually be, you'd have to be a met like a VIP upgrade to um, enjoy um, on Thursday. So definitely do it before, before then. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay. Our first step we had just talked about, I talked about doing like a brain dump. So it is 2024. Um, so I was thinking that we will do 24 goals for 2024, okay? So this is really looking at every area of your life. And don't be shy here. This is for you. This is for like, oh, I want to experience going on this really amazing vacation to some exotic place, right? Or I would like to buy a second property or I want my body to feel fit and lean, okay? Or I wanna be on the Drew Barrymore show, that's me. <laughs> so just think of things that would be exciting for you, okay? We're just, just doing, like I said, it's a brain dump. Just, you can be as wild as you like here, okay? Or you could be as practical as, as you'd like here, okay? But go ahead, you can list it out. You could literally like write one and then write it, right? Write two and then write it. So just go ahead. Um, we're gonna take a, some time here to write this. And I'm gonna go through some of the things that people, um, some of these comments here, okay? So I'll give you a few minutes. So by 20, we'll, um, everyone should have at least 24 things that they would like to experience, right? We're going big. And it could be even a feeling. We're gonna always gonna be attaching this to a feeling. It could be like, what do you want to like feel in 2024? Oh, Jennifer says her deck arrived in the mail today and it's beautiful. Oh, I'm so happy you're enjoying it, Jennifer. Okay, um, Sandra asked if, where to find the book to print out. Uh, we do have a link. I'm not sure if someone on my team could put it in the chat and they could print it there, but I did send it in the email. So if you didn't receive the email, you can always check your spam and you can print it there. Oh, Brock said they got their deck too. Beautiful. Oh, thank you. So Carolyn, you're so helpful. Thank you, Carolyn. She put the Dropbox link. Did you print it out, Carolyn, yourself? 
<laughs> I'm not sure if you're going to use your probably pretty journal that you have. Bonnie says she used the link in the email. Everybody's doing their brain dump right now of big, big dreams in all areas of life. Anything that you want to experience, bring in. Are we writing goals? Yes. We're writing those 24 that are, and that are um, resonating with you right now. Ah. Okay, we're going to write for one more minute. And if you don't finish, it's totally okay. This is something that you really nurture. We're going to, you're going to come back to it. You're going to be adding to it. You're going to be reviewing it. But you're starting right now. So this is a good thing. Anything else in your home, in yourself, in your relationships, with others, in money, self care, your health? And then go ahead and look over this list and pick out maybe like three things that are like standing out for you for, for this year. Just circle them. Don't think too hard. Just like what's standing out. 
And if you feel really inspired, you're welcome to put him in the chat so that I know what's standing out for you. Ooh, Amy has a passion project. So I wanna know what that passion project is, okay? The more that we can voice those desires, they become real, okay? So this is a space for us to start putting those desires. Just you can name, like Margarita, you can like circle three. Do more fun things with the kids, yes. And then you can get more clarity. What are those fun things, right? So like I said, we're gonna be nurturing this list. We're gonna be refining it. Creating my new business. Cleaning out useless objects with my home. Oh, that's powerful work right there. Finished my thesis for my art therapy degree at Dominican University of California. Beautiful financial freedom. Beautiful trip to Japan. Awesome. All right. I love all of these. So the more that you are clear, the more that we're going to be able to start calling it in, right? So we want to be really clear and see like, what does that feel like, right? When you have your art therapy degree and that you're serving people and they are so happy that they had the opportunity to work with you, right? Or that you get to travel to Japan and you get to see yourself on the on the airplane and then waking up and you're in this new beautiful country and eating like all this yummy food, right? So this is why we're gonna be transitioning to the letter of the universe is we're gonna be sort of like being in it, like being in that experience, right? And describing it with your senses, okay? So part of this practice of writing the letter to the universe is that you really want to work not work, maybe that's not the right word, but you really wanna be aware and conscious of your energy, okay? The universe, God, loves high vibration, okay? And the best way, the easiest way to get into the vibration so that you are heard, right, and connected is through gratitude, okay? So this is why gratitude practices are so powerful. I actually practice gratitude in the morning and I practice gratitude at night at the end of my day. So. Being right here, I'm so grateful um, that you are here at the end of my day because what I do is like a, a cleansing at the end of my day where I look at everything that I've done in my day and I process it, right? And I get back into my, my gratitude, okay? So this is what we get to do right now together. So when we're getting clear and we're writing our letter to the universe, um, which is on our second page here, it says, we're going to be doing four parts, okay? So you can go ahead and write down the four parts. I'll tell you what they are. The first part is we're going to say thank you, okay? And we're going to write some things of what we're thankful for. And I'll give you an example. I'll read you, read you part of my letter to the universe. I say, dear universe. The next part is we can reflect on the past and let go of what was no longer serving us. So Angela writes here, be divorced and free from his effects on me. All right, I'm letting go of those effects that he had on me. And I no longer thinking of that, taking it out of my mind. He's taking away too, too much space in my mind, right, Angela? Okay. And then declare what you desire. Make it present tense, right? How you want it to be um, in your life and how you want to feel. What does that look like? And be incredibly specific, okay? And be present tense. So it's like not later from now, it is happening at this moment, okay? So I'll give you an example of how I started off my letter so you can kind of get the idea. My letter says, dear universe, I'm so grateful I'm in the flow. I feel confident, abundant, and high vibes. Each day I wake up excited to create content and make art. Um, I love my morning routine, meditation, visualization, journaling, and art making. My studio is epic, full of light and space to create. Um, it's fun to have a clubhouse on the top um, and a pool underneath. So now I'm actually getting into my manifestations, all right? I don't have that just yet, but it, but it, I'm saying it's here, right? This clubhouse that I want with the pool underneath, okay? So 
this is how you're going to do it. You're going to start with the gratitude. Thank you, universe. And just like you're waking up in the day and then put yourself in the space of what you're calling in. It's so much fun being in Japan and eating the food and, and meeting new people. It's so much fun to be um, just looking at here, earning five figures um, in my side job. Or let's see what it says. We don't want to focus on the divorce. We want to feel like, well, what does it feel after the divorce? Okay, is it like freedom? Is it peace? Being at peace with myself, being at peace with my new relationships, right? So you're stepping into it. Okay, so Lisa was asking, um, this is actually step two. First, we did the brain dump. I did ask you to, to um, pick a few things from that brain dump of, of your ideas for 2024 and take those, maybe the three that you picked, put them in your, your letter to the universe. Like you're in it, experiencing it. Because those three are probably the ones that you really want to focus on for this year. Thank you, Carmen. She just wrote, I'll put it in this chat too. <laughs> she wrote, say thank you, reflect on your past and let go, and then declare your desires. That's it. You guys are, yeah. And be detailed. I'll put it in the chat here. Let me see how I can send it to everybody. I don't think that's the right spot. Okay, I got it in the chat. Now you can see the, the steps. So again, I'm gonna give you some space to just get, you know, nurture your soul right now. Just really listen.
Okay, we're gonna write for a couple more minutes. So you can start adding whatever de other details you need to. And then make sure that when you end it, you're going to be signing your name, right? And declaring it. And always end in a thank you. I think that's always good. So Sherry, if you were addressing the past, you just you could just say, I'm releasing whatever needs to be released. It could be just done in a sentence. I'm releasing what no longer serves me. I'm releasing that heavy energy. I'm releasing that guilt. It doesn't have to be extended for too long, but just, just allowing it to let go so that you can make space to call in the new energy that you want, right? Everything is energy. And it was cool. I was just meeting with, with a client and she was actually really into astrology. She reads, uh, does astrology. And she was saying the number for 2024 is the number eight. It's a year of the eight. Um, and so the number eight represents balance, harmony, and inner stability. Mm, beautiful energy for 2024. <laughs> Jamie said that's her favorite number. Oh, cool. My favorite number is four. Or I like 33 too. That's a really, really good angel number. Yeah, so everything that you've written here on your letter to the universe is energy, right? It has a certain emotion feeling to it, which is energy, okay? So when we think about this, what energy, what are you gonna call in for the year? This is how we pick a word for the year, okay? This is gonna give us guidance of what we, how we wanna feel and how we want to focus each day. This is our intention, right? So we don't just do this one time. And this is energy that is going to build, right? And it's going to be very um, in our life because it is our reality. It's so we create a reality, right? We choose it. We gotta be conscious of it. So thinking of the words of what we wanna call in, okay? It could be, balance, harmony, inner stability, which I love that because I think of harmony with the infinity circle, right? And infinity symbol is an eight, right? That is harmony. And inner stability, right? We need to energetically feel really good, emotionally have that balance because we have to match that vibration of what we're calling in, okay? So Undercover Unicorn says she wants to break free 2024. All right, so she's breaking free. That's her word for the year. I love it. My word for the year last year was ripple effects. And I really loved it. I love that like it made me very conscious of what I do has ripple effects, right? So I was really been journaling about like, what do I want to call in? Or what is what am I feeling for this year? And so for me, it is um, divinely guided, it kept coming up for me. And this means trust, trusting in what's next, trusting in my next steps, okay? So think about for you, what is the energy? What is it that you wanna call in? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick a symbol to go with it, okay? So I wanna explain to you how that might look, okay? And I also want you to put it in the chat of what that would look like for you, okay? Because we learn from each other, okay? Jamie, so that's her word too? You're gonna be divinely guided? Or break free, which one? Okay. Savan said hers is flow. Okay. So what we do is we pick a word of that energy, and then we're going to do an image to go with it. So flow, that could be like a water image, or it could be something flowing, right? Um, 
I had some an example here. Uh, someone had put growth. I was reading some of the comments from yesterday. Like my word for the year is going to be growth. What does that look like? Does that look like a big oak tree? Does it look like maybe a small plant that's potted and it has some growth? What does that look like for you? Maybe you're starting something like planting seeds and it's just starting to grow. Okay. What does that growth look like for you? So you're going to be picking an image to draw now. You're going to move into the art part. Um, someone else said I was working with, um, she didn't, she wanted to focus on her podcast this year. So you could take an element of that. Maybe that's a big focus. Cause I know podcasts, you know, do take a lot of work. I mean, maybe she wants to do the symbol and actually draw out headphones. Okay. Um, yeah. And even for me, like divinely guided, like the symbolism that goes with that. I think of like the third eye, I feel like a crown. I'm going to put those elements together. So I want to read some of your comments and what that looks like. And then for those of you who do want support, I'm here to support you. Okay. If you're like, I know when I want this, but I don't know how to put a, put a symbol to it. Let us know. There's like a whole bunch of us here that can support you in putting this together. Okay. Okay. So Veronica has accomplished. So if it's accomplished, tell me an image that makes you feel accomplished. What does that look like? Are you standing tall and proud? You're celebrating yourself? Or are you like hands on your hips? Is it like a power pose? Or is there an actual symbol that you feel would be like your achievement? Maybe it's a diploma or something. I'm not sure what it's related to. Okay. Clarity and sort of like a crystal. Um, okay. Elaine says she is stuck in her word. Okay. You have to give us some examples of what you're stuck with. What is Sandra stuck to? What's the energy that you want to call in? Okay. So think of some energy. I had mentioned harmony. Um, Peace it can be anything that you want to call in. All right, PJ is picking balance. Beautiful. Patty's picking bravery. Curious, Patty, what 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 symbol are you going to pick for bravery? And it could be maybe you want to do like a lion because lions are always associated with bravery. I need some time to land on something, Sherry says. Okay, you can take some time. Like I said, we're going to be, each day, we're going to be doing little bite-sized pieces, okay? And we're going to be reflecting back. We're going to come back to our list. We'll come back to the letter of the universe. Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah, okay. All right, expansion. Authentic journey symbol is the twisting vine with blooms. Abundance. I would pick the spiral for my symbol. Okay, good. I feel like I'm second guessing my symbol. I like the harmony of infinity sign, but I also feel like I need more than just harmony. Well, what you can do, Aaron, is start with the harmony symbol and then see what comes up and just have a conversation with it. What else do you need? Draw it out a few times and say, what else do I need? What will make it feel good? Oh, okay, the Facebook people can't hear me. Um, let's see here. Okay, hold on one second. Let me think, it's, it's my audio audio settings. Not my AirPods. Okay. Can you guys all hear me now on Facebook? You should be able to hear me now. Yes. Can you hear me? All right. So let me come here on the settings here as well. Um, let's see. All right, do you know the directions? Are you guys all, are we good? Does anyone need support? 
Ooh, undercover unicorns. I made a cocoon out of glass so the glass is shattered around the butterfly. Okay, well, that'll work. Authenticity. I'm back. Okay. Okay, I'm glad you can hear me. No, Candace says you can't hear me. Hmm. Okay. Sherry asked, what's yours again for this year? So the, I'm going to use divinely guided for me. So that keeps coming up for me. So what that looks like is... I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm going to do. And it doesn't have to be like this elaborate. This is like a, like a sketch. So you take Okay, I'm gonna have to restart this broadcast. Let me see one second. What we're gonna do is just take your sketch. And then you'll colored in. So mine's going to be divinely guided. So I'm thinking of like third eye and a crown. That's the symbols that are coming for me. Okay. We are going to restart and then start again on Facebook. And everyone can go ahead and start your art on the Zoom. Okay. Unfortunately, I think we lost some people in the Facebook group, but I'm all, I'm happy you guys are still here. Um, Marcy, she says the symbol came first, dragonfly. I looked up the symbol and it said, good luck, new beginnings and change. I'll take those. Perfect. Awesome. Can't wait to see your artwork. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my artwork. We are, um, we're actually gonna take a little time here and then I want to, not too much time. I did wanna keep within the hour, but I do wanna share because we are here on the Zoom and I wanna be able to see your artwork. And there's also gonna be, um, just to let you know, 
I want you to share in the Facebook group too, because I know when we're on the Zoom, it's kind of hard to like see everyone's um, work. But um, in the Facebook group, I do encourage you to, we're going to post um, your artwork or, and also what you're calling in and the word for the year. And we'll put it under our day one so that everybody can um, see your work and which is very nurturing for people to see your work. And I also want you to nurture other people. So part of the community is we support each other, right? And so, you know, honor what um, someone else did and see their vision too and amplify it, right? All right. Let's see if people can hear me now on Facebook. And Sherry, so it's okay if, if for like right this second, you might not know what it is, but you could sleep on it tonight and say, universe, please let me know what the energy that I'm calling in for the year and like, see what happens tomorrow. See what is, is showing up for you. Right. I didn't know it was going to be divinely guided. I, I was, um, you know, doing my morning journaling and that's what kept coming through. And it's actually been coming through a lot in my business and being uh, divinely guided um, in connections and expansion and being divinely guided and um, my artwork and my next steps um, on where I want to take it. So, you know, just sometimes you just ask and then continue writing, continue connecting to source and, and journal about it. So maybe tomorrow morning you'll have it. Um, she says, I already have wildest imaginings. I need forward motion. Okay, so something for forward motion, like movement. Maybe that's your word, movement, right? Forward motion. And it could be, I don't know, whatever that looks like for you. It could be a squirrel, um, could be symbolic, like a, a horse, it could be anything um, that could represent that movement, right? Ah. Uh, Yvette has to go teach your class. Okay, cool. But Yvette, please post your art in the group and make sure you comment at least three people, okay? We want to see your artwork. Okay. All right. All right, we're getting people back in the Facebook. I'm not sure. I don't see the comments in Facebook. So I got to like find myself. Oh, you can hear me, Lisa says. Okay, beautiful. Oh, Zell Johnson has already um, drawn her symbol and she put it in and she put it in the in the live. Um, the word for years blossoming. My symbol represents growth achievement for me. My symbol for day one. Beautiful. Okay. All right. So I'm curious, is there some people here on the Zoom that I can see your artwork? Um, and I can share your artwork here. Anyone want to raise their hand to share? <laughs> Zell, okay. Zell, Zell, did you want to share? Zella? I'm going to have to spotlight you. I'll add a spotlight. All right. Do you want to tell us about it? Uh oh, someone else started screen sharing. Oh, look at that. Well, Lisa just started screen sharing. <laughs> okay. That's funny. Okay, hold on one second. We'll do one at a time. Um, an awesome job. How about Jennifer? How about Jennifer? She has her hand raised. I love that you have your hand raised. So I'm going to add a spotlight and I'm going to ask screen share. Hold on. Let me get the screen share off. But I see Jennifer. 
Okay, go ahead. Can you unmute yourself if you don't mind? Thank you. Am I asking to? You can't unmute yourself? Oh, okay. <laughs> Anyone else would like to? I'd love to hear the words. I think it's powerful to hear the words. I didn't get to paint mine yet. I'm going to paint mine, I promise. Oh, hers is growth. Ah, beautiful. I love it. So when you share in the group, I know you can't say it right now, but put some words to it. Um, oh, I can unmute. <laughs> okay, good. I saw a message from John in the chat. I was like, oh, I can unmute. Um, so it's growth because I realized of all the goals for 2024 that I, I managed to get 12 written. All good. of them are growing in some way, growing wealth, growing and manifesting love growing and traveling more. So I went with vines that are kind of going out rather than a tree or a taproot or anything. Vines can travel. Um, so that's a piece of that. And then there's purple flowers on it because I love purple. Um, green leaves are money. Little red hearts are on here. Um, but that kind of came to me because I was writing words down that were coming to mind and then that one stuck. Like I knew immediately as soon as I wrote that word, I was like, that's it. Beautiful. I love it. I love all the purple around you. So yes. So you got what you said, 14. So sit with this tomorrow morning and say, you know, what else do I want to call in for, you know, 2024? This is a process. Okay. It's not like a one day boom. That's it. No, let's nurture it. Okay. Let's let it expand. Right. So I'm looking forward to seeing more, Jennifer. Beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing. All right. Let's get another. Let's have, we got someone in their PJs here. Who is your <laughs> Devon? Maybe it's not your PJs. I think. <laughs> no, they're not my PJs. They're just my comfy clothes. <laughs> oh, they're fun. They're fun. Okay. <laughs> you want to yeah, share your art? Yeah, makes me happy. Um, so like I put in the chat, my word was flow. I don't know. So I started with the rock with the water going around it. Um, and the strength of that, but actually the Kraken has really been a symbol that has been coming up a lot, um, in the past few months and stuff. And so I've kind of adopted that as my new symbol for the year. And so then I just had the idea to start maybe putting the Kraken tentacle in there, and using the power of that and the flow of being with the water with that. And that just came to me. So we'll see what evolved from it. Beautiful. I think the Kraken's really powerful. So you got mm -hmm. some power energy, that's for sure. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. All right. And let me see who else has their hand raised. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, here we go. Review. Patty, would you like to share your word? Sure, yeah. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm trying to find you here. Let me, let me remove my spotlight. Maybe it'll pop up again. Go ahead and talk so then I can find you. You'll pop up. Okay, so Thanks. my word is bravery, which really came out of, whoa, where did that come from? I've been working on um, my... Um, my values and um, I decided with bravery to do an, uh, a bow with uh -huh. an arrow that's drawn back. And the cool thing about this is I actually own a bow and arrows and I'm like, do I sell it? Do I use it? Cause I've never used it. So this is really coming together in a really cool way. Oh, wow. Have you, have you ever heard of this? There's a certain type of like, therapeutic archery and actually one of our members of the creative soul society had brought it up before where you do like these feeling emotions right and you get it out all on paper and then you put it up <gasps> and you you actually like you you use your bow and arrow and you just strike at it and it's supposed to be really cathartic oh my gosh i need to know about that more thank you for that oh that is fitting so well with because I have my my passion project that I wanted to use for you know our time together mm -hmm. and then recently some like emotional stuff came up with family and this would be good yes thank you 
here. Welcome. Um, her, her name is Cinda. I don't think she's here tonight, but um, part of the we could definitely have you guys connect. But you could say her experiences are really powerful. So, I think awesome. that was cool. Thank you. You're welcome. So I am. Um, hold on one second. Okay. So I'm going to be closing off on the Facebook group, but I'm going to keep the Zoom open because I want to hear more of what you guys are working on and see what you're working on. Um, but I want to say thank you all in the Facebook group for showing up tonight. We have a lot more goodies um, tomorrow that we're going to be, um, you know, diving into, reflecting on, going deeper. So join us tomorrow at the same time. Like I said, it's time because I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> Go ahead and tell me that time. And um yeah, go and also be, be sure I'm going to have a post that says day one. I think I already posted in it um, in that and you can put your artwork and we're going to be, um, you know, supporting each other with that artwork. Um, comment on it and really see the other members here. OK, so that we can support them in their desires. All right. And then I'll be giving a little giveaway tomorrow to someone. All right. So I'm going to end the video. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a beautiful, beautiful night for day two. See you later. Okay. So for all of us here, I'm going to call on, we have a few people with their hand raised still. How about Denise? Hi. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. I couldn't figure out how to raise my hand. <laughs> sorry. Um, all right. I don't know. I'm not an artist, so. That's um, okay. It's no judgment here. I, I did. I, I figured out this. I think the sun for me, because my word is clarity. Um, mm -hmm. I have, uh, the sun is very bright mm -hmm. and powerful to me. And seeing things in the, the light, in the daylight. For me, I have a lot of things that I have to figure out how to take um, steps to do mm -hmm. and to, to, to work through. And um, I think the light and the brightness and the energy of the sun is what I need to for the clarity. So I yes. Guess. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I, I, I think clarity is really powerful. And the more that we give this attention, the more clarity it will come. Okay. And I'll just give you an example. Um, I started my vision board and I'm not done with it, but I started it. Right. And I put all these things on it. And then I came back a few days later and I'm like, oh my gosh, I had this really special passion project that I wanted and I didn't even put it on there. And so then it gave me even more clarity. I was like, wow, I'm so happy. I'm doing this work that I'm going to keep coming back to it. And then I get more clarity about you know what's important to me okay so this is why it's important to be here um and the more that you visit it you're like this is what really valuable and this is what i want to put my energy towards okay so you're doing good showing up is is sometimes the hardest part <laughs> beautiful all right um sherry would you like to go next Yeah, I don't know how much to share the screen or do I need to, or can you no, see no. me? Yeah, when you talk, it actually okay, it can right. pop up. All right, yeah, I'm just seeing you. I'm not splitting the screen. So can you see what I'm holding up right now? It's like um, a light. A little blurry. Yeah, can you, blurry. can you push it back? Yeah, that, back. yeah. Yeah. What? It doesn't really work see? to have the um that filter on, I think. I have a light behind me. Maybe if I turn that off or something. There you go. Stop I right there. I see a lightning bolt and a swirl. Yeah, that spirals. Although I draw a lot of spirals and I don't think this is exactly what I want to end up with yet. Okay. But I was just, um, I, I love the word serendipity and I'm looking at that because I think for me, I've been, um, and the last two people, I really resonated with things. So you also use the word spotlight, the other, the other, you use the word spotlight. And I like the idea of striking my light igniting my passion, um, igniting. But I think for me, the word serendipity is a word I, I just, it's a favorite word of mine. And mm -hmm. um, it's the, it says here, it's the occurrence and development of events by chance in a happy or beneficial way. And my creativity, I want to get more on a time thing, but I, I'm very haphazard. I used to have more structure and I'd like to create some structure, but 
I also, the way things are for me, I just want to like enjoy when things are happening, which is a lot of time that I'm doing that. But I don't know if serendipity is the right word either. I'm having a struggle with it. I usually don't struggle with things like this. I'm like always like on top of things, like I know what I'm doing, but I guess it's good that I'm struggling because I don't have all the answers yet and it's a process and I need to just, I am letting myself be open to anything right now and not just saying defining it quickly for myself because I'm somebody who like over defines and so it's good that I'm kind of like I don't know should I do this or that and usually I'm just like boom 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 so I'm trying to feel it like what is that's I think been my issue for a while the core essence of that what is that to move forward and you know not just forward motion I just can't live with that it doesn't doesn't jazz me up or anything so it doesn't excite me so I don't know yeah, no, I think, I think that's it. I think you do know. And this, yeah, so this is part of the process is that we don't see like the big picture, like, oh, you know, I want, I wanted this, but I don't know how to get there. Right. So now it's just right. slowing down and just ask every day. This is like, we don't just do this one time. We like, it's a daily practice of, okay, what is my next best step? And what is that today? And you just take that time to sit with yourself. Some people do it through meditation. I do. I love to do it through writing. That's where I get my downloads. This is where I can say, wow. okay, today, I know what I want. And, and, and then like, how do I, you know, what do I do today? Whether it's like write that email, maybe it's um, work on like 20 minutes on my book. It didn't have to be huge, but it could be just something like a baby step. Right. I'll work on it. <laughs> Thanks. Gonna, yeah, we're going to keep visiting. It's it's going to just, we're going to just keep nurturing it and, and see what happens. I think it's a good example of someone who's like not sure, even though I'm usually sure, but I think it's a good example if anybody else out there is like me or needs to shift it or something like that and reshape it. Okay, cool. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. How about Angela? Angela's iPad? Oh, I'm muted. There you are. I hear you. There. Hi. Hi. I don't know if you can you see me. Yeah. There's my symbol. Oh, wow. Cool. Tell us about it. My word is freedom, <laughs> but I get I, I'm gaining my freedom, and I get a lot of my freedom through my music, and growing through my music. So I'm hoping to get freedom from divorce as well. <laughs> But it's good that's what you're letting go of yes so and, and you're gonna have some wings i love that and i will have my wings and fly away i already flew the coop i've just not flown away yet <laughs> you will and so now it's just visualizing you know your new coop your new life your your new being yes finding yeah. me again yeah 29 years is a long time yeah. So it's like shedding and, and discovering the, yeah, like you said, discovering yourself again. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing, Angela. Thank you. The undercover unicorn. Would you like to join us? And she's still here. I'm still here. Oh, good. <laughs> um, I'm, I, I know I told you know, so a few times this last month has been, uh, We've had one thing, we had the monkey pox, and then we got rhinovirus, and it was like one thing after another. So I'm still literally getting my voice back. <laughs> well, we're happy you're here. Go ahead and show us your art. I'd love to see what you now, This is, let me see here. Trying to get where it's not much light in my room because my eyes are really hurting today. Can you see it? Yeah, I see a butterfly. And what is, oh, okay. is that the cocoon? That's the cocoon shattering. Uh, huh, let me see if I can. We got it. We saw it. That's that's okay. awesome. So that's oh, that's, thanks. Not that's much perfect. lighted. That's perfect. But yeah, that's just me. Because uh, as I was making my list, I was realizing that everything, whether it was personal, um, financial, uh, with my health. I just need to break free. So yeah, yeah that, 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 that's just my 2024. 
So we're going to, we're going to start bringing that, that idea into reality of like, what does that look like to actually break free? How does that look like in a day? Okay. So these are like the baby steps, but this is the direction that we're going to go. So we're going to be like, still discover what that looks like for you. Okay. okay. With that break free, where is it going? Where's that butterfly heading? Yeah. We got to figure that out. <laughs> yeah. That's what we want to know. How about Sherry? Would you like to go ahead and, and talk? Sherry Sharose. We already did it. Oh, so sorry. Was, I, did, yeah, I, did I guess I your hand. did the hand and then I think I did something on the chat. So sorry. <laughs> that was it. But anyone else? I know we have some beautiful faces here. Veronica, did we go already? I might be calling the same names. <laughs> no, we haven't gone yet. So okay. um, uh, my word was accomplished. And um, and what I thought of was um, an eagle soaring. Um, I just kind of felt like in order to accomplish all the things that I want to accomplish, um, I need to have that that clarity, that that vision that an eagle has and be able to soar above all the crap that I want to <laughs> leave behind. So yeah. that's my, that's my image. Yay. I love it. It's beautiful. Thank you. Very powerful. And how about Elaine? Would you like to share? Yep. Um, let me just turn on my camera. I was just <clears throat> giving it a few colors because I kind of live for color lately. Let me show you. Can you see it? Oh, ooh, yeah. Oh, it's like a flame. And then it's a triangle. Let me get to the light. Uh, oh, hold on. What's going on here? Oh, it's good. You have Do a I have like a. Oh, there yeah. You go. Let me see. Let's lift it up a little bit. Okay. And let go back. That... Let me just take the filter out. Mm. Did it take it out? <laughs> yeah, we can see it. Can you talk about it? So um, I ended up like going through like a, I did a little bit of tarot while we were talking because I was getting like stuck on what I wanted to go for. Mm -hmm. And then the words creative and passion kept popping up on my goals and also like on the tarot cards, which was like a little spooky to me. <laughs> like all my cards were related in some way of like you're too scared bring those things down to earth and that sort of thing and mm -hmm. it was all related to like passion and creativity Ooh. so for me passion is like a flame mm -hmm. and then the triangle with the rainbow it's like trying to come out with my identity and what I've been like pushing down forever mm. and the eye is just the inside inside of me oh I love it that's really cool it's very powerful yeah, like, as we're talking about it, it's kind of bringing up, like, emotions and things to my, my mind. But, yeah, it's, and go it, ahead and it was a great process. Yeah, yeah, I definitely will. Yeah, please Now that the kids are finally down. <laughs> <laughs> it was a hassle. But thank awesome. you for, so, so much for this. You. You're welcome. All right. We had a couple more, and then we're going to we'll wrap up. Sandra, do you want to go quickly? There we go. Oh, good. Yeah. That's it. Okay. It's still a work in progress, mm -hmm. but I went with tranquility. Mm. And I just started Googling different things. And then I found this image, which reminded me of kind of like an eight, but also the infinity symbol. And the eight stuck with me because my dad turned 88 on December 8th. So there's all those eights. So I'm going with it. <laughs> the color blue is supposed to be a calming color. And then I did a lotus flower leaf. Uh, for regeneration and uh, lavender around the outside. Um, 
just to induce relaxation. So I kind of threw a lot in there. I don't know if it's going to stick, but we will see. Well, how you make it stick is by revisiting it. And we're like, why is this important to me? And why am I bringing this into my world every day? Right. So it's just, we're making it intentional. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. Terry, would you like to go? Yeah. Hey, everyone. Um, so my words, I had to fun and creativity. Um, and I really need to bring a lot more fun into my life. Um, I, I feel like I just work, 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 work. So work, I want to bring fun and creativity into my work, but also into my life. And so I want to do more skiing, cross country. I want to do more dancing. I want to have more beach time and I want to do more circles. So, yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. And celebrate yourself for doing mm -hmm. all those things. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Do it. Right? Cheers. I did it. Yes. Amazing. I love that. More fun. We all need yes. more fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was inspiring. I love that. All right. Melissa. She has her hand raised. I love that all of you are sharing so much. It's beautiful. Oh. Um, so originally I had chosen clarity, mm -hmm. um, but I found, um, that the image that was coming to me was like a window. I was like, okay, well, I kind of like that. And at the same time, I went back to my list of my goals and things that I'd like to see happen for 2024. And what I really want is balance. Um, and so I did, um, the minute you mentioned like the number eight, um, I often do, uh, I'm a social worker. And so, uh, we do a lot of like, I work with uh, young adults, um, in a program and we always do like our coping tools. And so the first image that came to me was like doing like your lazy eights, um, with your breathing. And so I chose, um, to do balance. Oh, wait, let me, how do I, wait. I can see it right there. Can you see it? Oh, okay. Yeah, just keep it where oh. you had it. It's perfect. Oh, oh, there we go. Um, so I chose, I wrote the word originally, and um, I started adding the greens and the blues behind it because I was thinking, oh, sorry. Um, I was I started thinking about the ocean at the same time. Yeah. Um, and like kind of like an ebb and flow. And um, yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at. And I think I'm just trying to balance out. Um, a lot of things in my life and trying to uh, be more purposeful with um, just what's going on. That's perfect. I mean, part of being the part of the creative soul society, you're going to have that, like that we use art for self-care and we meet several mm -hmm. times, you know, a month. So well, it's several, but at least three times. So it's, this, you'll have that opportunity to, to nurture your soul, which is, which is important. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Well, I see some more shiny faces here. Anyone else want? Can I call on you? <laughs> Leanna, you're just sitting there smiling at me, and I really want to see what you <laughs> you're like, no, I don't want to share. <laughs> um I I have to tell you, I wasn't feeling all that inspired, <clears throat> or at least not to create, but more to write, which is fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, we go through beautiful. phases, right? Um, also, I wrote in the Frida sketchbook, which she is iconic in her own right. Um, so I guess I'll share, I wrote, Dear Universe, thank you for my experiences, my passion and wildness. I have a life so full of magic that it can't help but spill over into paint. Right now I'm watching the Aurora Borealis race across the night sky. The lights ripple through the darkness, a chill bite to the air. So different from home. My home, that warm blanket, a safe space, and the nook of a forest. I have a studio brimming with natural light and a sisterhood of powerful women who create together. I welcome this abundance. Knowing that I am worthy, I welcome anything that brings me joy, financial stability, physical wellness, peace, passion, and love. 
And then I wrote Art Sparkles. Liana. <clears throat> my guess. That's my I'm very happy listening to that. Thank you. I thank you because I don't think I would have written a letter quite like that had it not been for you, Leanne, your your example that you gave of putting yourself there. Yes. Um, that's the real essence of manifestation. And when I started to write that out, I started to feel it. So I, you know, I want to capture the Northern Lights somehow, and it has to be paint. So I have to, th it requires adjustment here. But for right now, this is where we're at, and I will sleep on it. And as you said, it will continue to Im embody, so to speak. You're inspiring. Thank you so much. Thank you. Beautiful. All right. I see Frankie has her hand up. Did Zelda have a chance to go? I don't think she had a chance to go. I couldn't unmute last time. Oh. So thank you for the opportunity. Yeah. My word is blossoming and I kept my symbol very simple. And part of that is that I have created symbols before. Um, specifically around creating safe space, but I like to have something that I can fit into my artworks um, sort of quietly, you know, something that will just be there and, and bring that essence into what I'm doing. I have a, a lot of changes coming up this year. I don't know what it's going to look like. There's a move and I'm working on the book and working on creating more financial freedom. Um, and I, I just, I, this for me, this little symbol means to me that it's blossoming now. There's so much good right now, but there's growth coming still. There's still more to do and there's still more to grow. Thank Amen. you. So it is. Everyone, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I know a lot of everyone's going to get going. I'm going to just do one last one. Um, Frankie, would you like to go? Hi. Oh, I keep calling you Frankie. It's Jem. It's yes, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll answer to it. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, powerful. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I can um, see your heart with wings and has a crown. What keeps popping into my head is light and love. And light is in shining light, light is in spreading light, um, and love. And because if that can bring joy and I need joy in my life. So that, um, the symbol with the wings, not only light is in shining light, but filling light. Um, getting the bounce back in your step and the energy that, that goes with, with sharing and caring, I guess. Yeah. So that's it. Oh, I love that. And, and then you can also, I don't know if you put this in your letter of the universe, but also, um, you know, write about that. Uh, I, I wake up with that love. I wake up with that light. I wake up with that energy and just like you're in it and just saying, I'm, I'm, de I'm declaring it. Okay. Okay. We can practice. We can write again. I continue nurturing it so that it's just how you wake up. Okay. Thank you for sharing, Jem. Oh, this is so beautiful. Thank you all for, for showing up tonight and showing up for yourself and just and being here for each other and listening. And um, I know it's a little late, but like I said, it's kind of that wind down time of taking care of ourselves and reflecting. Um, so I, I invite you to you know come back tomorrow and we're gonna revisit you know what we've written and our symbols and please take some time, probably not tonight, but either tomorrow. Uh, you know, sharing your art again to the other people in the group and the Facebook group and let's support each other as well and, and commenting on each other's post and really amplifying the magic, right? Because we inspire each other when we when we see what, what we're doing. All right. Thank you, everyone. Have a beautiful rest of your night. Mm -hmm. Bye.
Thank you. Good night. Good night.